Hello everyone, today I will be reviewing Star Wars. So this that I've got here, it's actually the original trilogy Blu-ray, so it's got episodes 4, episodes 5 and episode 6 on it. But in this review, I'm only going to be reviewing episode 4, A New Hope. So Star Wars is directed by George Lucas and it's a sci-fi film, so it stars Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher. And it's obviously part of a bigger series. This film was later titled Episode 4, A New Hope. And then you had the sequels, Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. And a later read, a prequel trilogy in the late 90s, early 2000s. And then the sequel trilogy, which came out in the 2010s, as well as some spin-offs as well. And there's been so much merchandise, so toys, video games around this series. It really has been such a massive phenomenon really in terms of movies and yeah so obviously Star Wars itself as a franchise one of the biggest movie franchises that has ever been and when this film came out Star Wars the original one it became the highest grossing film of all time the highest grossing film of all time and all until E.T. came out in 1982 and that overtook it so anyway on to this film so the film revolves around the rebels fighting against the Empire now, the Empire, they have this massive station, this huge space station called the Death Star, which is the size of a moon, and the Rebels aim to destroy the Death Star to stop the Empire taking over the galaxy. Now, we've got lots of different characters in this film. There really is a, a lot going on. So we have the droids, R2-D2, C-3PO. Then we have Mark Hamill, plays Luke Skywalker, who lives on Tatooine. Then we've got Han Solo and Chewbacca. Han Solo is played by Harrison Ford. And we've got Princess Leia, played by Carrie Fisher. So there's lots going on in this film. And I really enjoy this film. It's a really good, fun film to watch. And I, I watched it several times when I was a kid. In fact, I've seen all the Star Wars films, really. And this one does stand out. I, I probably do prefer some of the other ones. But really, this one was where it all started. And you can really see how this film on its own has influenced lots of other films coming after it. And are not just science fiction films, but also all sorts of action and adventure films, thrillers, because of the special effects. Now, the version that I watched was one of the restored versions, and this version, well, actually, the film itself has had lots of different updates. So the film itself came out in 1977, and they added some extra bits in 1997, then 2004, and then for the 2011 Blu-ray, which is the one that I have, so, and in this version, they add in lots of CGI effects, so there might be lots of creatures in the background that might have enhanced some of the space fights, and in a lot of ways it really does work, it makes it better, but I have to admit I was slightly distracted sometimes by the CGI creatures that they had in several scenes. For example, there's a scene where Luke, C-3PO, R2 and Ben Kenobi, they go to Mos Esley, and as they go on the vehicle through the town you can see there's lots going on in the background and there's some cgi animals and it's all very obvious that they've just been added in as an afterthought afterwards and i appreciate that obviously at the time in 1977 they didn't have the technology to do that and they wanted to improve it but in some ways it really distracts in the film although it does look good obviously from a cgi standpoint but it is very noticeable and I wasn't always a big fan of that but I have to say the special effects did work well in several sequences when they did the rocks and the Jawa sequence with the Jawa's vehicle the sand crawler and yeah so really and you have to say that in in terms of the original version of the 1977 the special effects on its own were actually very impressive at the time anyway so I can't really complain about that now, I understand a lot of people might not like this film because it's a fantasy film, it's a sci-fi, and it's not necessarily one of those films that you, you can really relate to in terms of real life because of the whole space thing and the, the setting of space and all the different planets and all the aliens. But I do think it is really good fun, and I can understand why not everyone would enjoy this film. But then on, on the other scale of it, you've got people who really, really love this film and also think it's one of the greatest films of all time. And obviously, Star Wars as a series is a really big fan base, so it's quite a cult following, and loads of people really religiously 
love this series. One thing which I definitely have to talk about in this film is the music. So the score was done by John Williams, and John Williams has done lots of the biggest film scores like E.T., Jurassic Park, Harry Potter, probably the best film composer of all time, I would say. And the film score for this film, the Star Wars film score, probably one of the most iconic film scores of all time and one of the most well-known and probably one of the best in my opinion actually and it's not just the opening music when you get the credits coming down with the story it's all the different bits of music dotted all over the film so when we see the Jawas they have a certain piece of music then we see Tuscan Raiders they get a certain piece of music and it's all very well done it all sets the scene very well but then you have different planets and different characters and it seems like there's a different bit of music each time and obviously the main Star Wars theme is absolutely incredible. Just as soon as the film starts up, you know that you're in for an excellent ride and an excellent film. I also should mention Darth Vader. So Darth Vader is obviously the main villain in this film. It's played by David Prowse and voiced by James Earl Jones. And he is one of the most iconic film villains of all time. And he's a very menacing character. And it's just excellent the way that he's portrayed in the film really is and obviously in a sequel the empire strikes back and then return of the jedi he does have bigger parts in that as well but really this film really introduces him as a villain and it does it very well indeed most of my favorite scenes in this film are the action sequences so we get lots of sequences with the rebel troopers and the stormtroopers and princess leia and han solo and luke and they've all got their blasters and all shooting each other and that's a good fun what this film does lack slightly compared to the later films in the series is lightsaber fights so in this film, the only two characters that really have lightsabers are Ben Kenobi and Darth Vader. And we see them fight in one scene, but it's not a particularly long scene. It is fairly brief, especially in terms of the later films in the series, if you've ever watched them, and any of the more recent ones. But it still is very good. And you have to remember that this is the first Star Wars film. And obviously, if people are going to see this for the first time in 1977, they probably haven't watched a lightsaber fight before. So they probably weren't expecting much in terms of that anyway. So you have to put it all in perspective. But really, in terms of the action scenes, it is all very well done. It's all good fun. And also, we have to mention, the space battles with the X-Wings and the TIE Fighters is all absolutely brilliant as well. So all in all, I think Star Wars is a very good film. It's a very good fun film. Um, I don't think it's necessarily one of the best films of all time, though I understand lots of people do like it and probably upset some people by saying that as I know it has a massive fan base but I do enjoy it very much and I think the original trilogy as a whole is very good but this film on its own just it just if you want to sit down and watch a good fun film you can't go wrong with Star Wars really fantastic so I'm going to give it a rating of 8 out of 10 altogether so Star Wars so there we go guys so what do you think have you seen it do you like it do you dislike it let me know in the comments below anyway thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next video take care